Today, we're going to talk about glyphs. What are glyphs? Glyphs are these lines that are attached to either the beginning of a word or the end of the word. And I'm going to show you how to find the glyphs for certain fonts. So stay tuned. All right, now the first thing to note is that not all fonts are gonna have glyphs. This font has a glyph. The one thing that I do recommend is that you sign up for a Creative Fabrica account because often, quite often, they will send you free font bundles. Um, if you sign up with them, you'll notice that they have um, a whole bunch of really cutesy fonts that you can use. In terms of Canva, we some of the fonts, you can use them, but you might not be able to use them to the extent that they are displayed in Creative Fabrica, but you would have access to the glyphs that are available. And I'm going to show you how to find the glyphs like this one. Okay. All right. Now here is an email that I received from Creative Fabrica where it's telling me they have a special offer. Uh, there's a free bundle available and they're offering 68 free special fonts. So, um, when you get these, you can just click on the button and it will take you to the free bundle. And again, all you need to do is sign up for a free account. It doesn't cost you anything. So once you click the button, you'll come to this page where the font bundle is located. And this is the option to download the whole collection. But if you scroll down, you'll see all of the fonts that are available with this collection. Um, and so when you're looking, you see here is one that has some fancy glyphs. Um, and if we keep scrolling down, we'll find some other ones. I'm just trying to find another one. Here is another one uh, right here, Sweetie Christmas. Um, and here is one, it's called Emika Danley, which is included. So when we click on one of these, it'll take us to the that font, that specific font page. And again, if we scroll down, what we'll see is all the letters in that font style. And in here, we can even type a sample and it will show us uh, what uh, it will look like. Now we'll notice down here uh, in this smile button, it says view all glyphs. And those are those fancy lines. Right. If we look here, we'll see those fancy lines. So if we want to see all the glyphs and all like fonts aren't going to have the same glyphs, they're going to have different glyphs. That's what makes them unique. So when we click this violet button, it's going to show us all of the letters in that font style. And if we continue to scroll down, it'll show us the different sizes. And um, it's going to show us all the glyphs and the ones in yellow are the ones you really want to be paying a specific attention to. And if we keep scrolling, we'll find them at the bottom. So here they are. So at, from here, we really can't do anything with it. Um, and that's where I'm going to show you how to actually use these glyphs. So once you have downloaded this font bundle. So if we come back up here and you press the download button, then you can go to your folder and you can right click on this folder and extract all. And then once it's extracted, you'll see all of the fonts in that bundle. And this is the one we were looking at, Emika Danley. Okay, so now 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva because I'm going to show you how to upload this font into Canva. Now to upload a font, you'll need to have Canva Pro. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your brand kit. And in the section where it says fonts, you can click on the add new and where it says upload a font. And um, unfortunately, you can only upload one font at a time. So I'm going to go to my bundle of fonts, which I downloaded. And I'm going to open up the folder and look for that Amika Danley. So here it is, Amika Danley. So I'm going to open up that folder and then I'm going to upload the font. So I'm going to click that font file and I'll say open. Uh, so by uploading, it's just a d disclosure that says I acknowledge that I own uh, Emily Danley or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. Just say yes, upload away. So it's uploading it. Okay, and there is the font. So now I can go into a design. So I'm going to just create a workspace and I'm going to place some text on my desktop. And I'm just going to make that text a little bit larger. And I'm going to look for that font which I just uploaded. So And that it was called Emika. There we go. So what do we do next? Okay, so let's say that um, I wanted to reproduce the way it was um, displayed in the font list. And it says Emika Danley regular. So Let's go back for a second uh, to Creative Fabrica. Now, if we go back to Creative Fabrica and we go to Tools, there is an app in here called Font Cloud. If you just click Font Cloud and then click Open Font Cloud again, you get to save uh, some of your fonts in this uh, area. And basically what you need to do is you need to upload that font that you downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to upload that into the font cloud. And here it is right here. And if I scroll down this list, I will find the glyphs. So here they are. These are the only letters that have, that are like special, so to speak, uh, that have glyphs, that have extra lines. And we'll notice that here is the K. And when I select the K up here, it'll say character copied. Um, I can go back to Canva now. And in here, I can just click Control V to paste. And there is the that special uh, character with a glyph. Now um, let's go back for a sec here. Let's see what other um, letters are available. So I can replace the E if I wanted to here. And there, there is an L. And there's the L. They also have an M here, so I can replace the M. Okay, so that's pretty much how um, you find glyphs, uh, if you're wondering. And that is pretty much it, how we find glyphs. Uh, I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. Join me on Discord where you can share your designs or on my Facebook group. Um, on Discord, you can ask for special requests on tutorials. And for now, I will say bye-bye until next time.